this is a sponsored video because we've got to save up money for our studio. And today, our sponsor for the video is Ragnarok Origin. Ragnarok Origin is a modern reimagining of the classic 2002 MMORPG Ragnarok Online, which, originally for the PC, was adapted to iOS and Android so you could play on the go. Love a good mobile game, don't you? They optimized a ton from the old version, starting with their graphics to the character customization down to the sensitivity of the battle system controls to keep the feel of the original game just better. There are co-op options through the mercenary system so you can hunt in a group and make some new friends in the community. Or you could go solo through the continent of Midgard on your own adventure. Right now they're celebrating their one year anniversary with their one challenge across all their social media. To participate, you listen to their lovely song coincidentally titled The One, record your own cover using the instrumental version, and post your video with the tags for your entry. Check their socials for more details if you're interested. And now, on with the video. Greetings and salutations, beautiful people. Top of the morning, howdy hey, how you doing? So listen, this is the last time I'll talk about this, I swear. But this fucking Pikachu video. We have passed the point where it's over a year late. Oops, it's become big. Now I realize I probably sound super cryptic about it because I keep just mentioning it here and there. I've made it known that video is a big deal for me and I've seen comments of people speculating that it must be my magnum opus. Please stop saying that, you're scaring me. Simply put, it has become very emotionally significant to me. I am putting my whole non-binary into it I don't know how good it's gonna be. I'm simply very insecure. That's a lie, I, I know it's good. My team is incredible, they're doing an incredible job. Like I said, I'm just insecure. But this Pikachu video is, it's being very much made for me at this point. It's cathartic. It's just, it's just big and huge. So, in the meantime, like I mentioned in my last video, ad revenue's gotten a little low. So I'm rescinding what I've said before, that the Pikachu video is next. It'll come out when it comes out. Hopefully soonish, but whatever. In the meantime, we're going to post a few quick videos so that we can make sure I can afford to finish this passion project. And that's it! I'm done talking about it. I'm, I'm not mentioning it again until the video's out. Which it will be out. It will, it will be posted. But I'm done. I'm done talking about it. You know what we could use in the meantime, though? More practice drawing Pokémon! I decided on a whim to just pull out some randomizers and draw whatever Fakemon they inspired me to make. I didn't give myself rules nor time for thought. My thoughts are my greatest enemy. They're being denied access here. This is between me, these three randomizers, and whatever design I can finish relatively quickly in a short period of time. First randomizer I did was Nokemon, which is an AI that generates new Pokemon designs in the 3D model style. You can pick the theme being type, color, or random. I just set it to random and I went to town on the generate button until something caught my eye. The AI-generated Pokémon are interesting because they look like Pokémon, but they almost never look like a real kind of animal, which I think makes the prospect of redesigning one of these to be both more difficult and more interesting. I ended up picking this guy. His design's pretty simple, especially with being mainly the same shade of green. He reminds me a lot of some early generation plant types. But also, his shape reminds me of those maple seeds that look like helicopters when they fall. And with seeds that spin and flutter as they fall in mind, I thought it might be fun to design this as the first in a two-stage Pokemon line. And the design of the evolution would be based on those like Barbie fairy toys with wing arms that fly when you spin it. I don't know if there's a name for that. It's the one that you guys saw in that vine where it goes into the fire. You know the one. The first form I just had to simplify a bit further so it would really look at home next to Pokemon like Hoppip and Gloom. I already had a really solid foundation there. The second form, I knew I wanted its body type to be completely changed. It needed two big seed leaves falling down by their sides to really scoop the air up while they spin. But I was struggling if I wanted it to be humanoid or not. But I did end up going with a very human figure since I thought it would fit nicely next to like Leveny and Fomantis and such. Also though, because I figured a ballet dancer would fit nicely as a second theme. I don't remember if any of these Barbie toys were actually ballerina themed. They might all be fairies, I don't know. But I associate the two very strongly in my head. So either there's like reason there or I'm making it up. The details after that would all give me a hard time though because everything I was trying felt uninspired. 
Which I think is like my biggest fear is like me releasing something that looks just completely uninspired. I tried to set them next to each other to make sure they looked like a proper progression and make any edits I needed. I, I played with the headpiece a lot before deciding to emulate those feathery sort of tiara things that ballerinas wear. And then I added more color to the skirt thing before I finally felt satisfied enough with this design. If I had had more time, I feel like I could have really kept adjusting these and really been able to sell them as a Pokemon. I think it's like close. I think it's close. I think it just falls short. But for what I was able to do in a day, I'm very happy with how this turned out. And uh, I don't know, F fuck it. Here's their info stuff. Simara, the falling Pokemon. Simara can often be seen spinning as they slowly descend from treetops. At this stage, they cannot ascend by spinning again. They have a difficult time moving with their nubby feet. Given such, scientists are left to assume they simply do it for fun. Korimara, the twirling Pokemon. Korimara use their leaf-like appendages to scoop up the air, freely able to launch themselves into wind currents and twirl down to their desired locations. They diligently practice in order to impress any potential admirers. The next one I did was the Pokemon Fusion Generator. And going in, I wasn't even... Oh my god, please shut up. Going in, I wasn't sure I was even going to draw a fusion per se. I was really just looking for whatever caught my eye and whatever it inspired would be what I designed. Be that like a regional form or a new species of Pokemon entirely or just straight up the fusion. I don't know. I don't know. I came across a lot of silly guys, a lot of cursed creatures, and a couple tempting fusions that I don't know what I would have done with other than simply having the feeling that they had potential until I got to the Snivy and Spritzy fusion. And I don't dislike Spritzy's design at all. I know Aromatisse is pretty controversial and widely disliked, but I think Spritzy's cute. I like how round they are, but something about seeing them stretched out, like, felt right, I liked it. But I had to think about it, like, if I did this design, what would I do? And like, stay with me for a second. I know, I know that, oh, well, what if Spritzy was a proper plague doctor is a little overdone. I know that. But I haven't done it yet. So yet again, I decided to make a two-stage line. The first stage being based on the randomizer and the second stage being based from my brain. For the spritzy, I didn't really take any of Snivy's elements except for the elongated bipedal body. The fusion sprite does look pretty fluffy and I took that. I even tried to keep the sort of scaly Snivy tummy, but I ended up deleting that later. Spritzy's look starts off with just some black feathers sort of cascading down its body in a dress-like shape, and I considered that a good enough stopping point to start conceptualizing the evolution. I really wanted this second stage to have a long neck that could curve down kind of like a candy cane, so it could give you this unsettling stare without necessarily looking uh, haughty or snooty or like it's looking down on you, something that would be easy to do with a long neck. Now he's hunched over, he's staring at you, he's weird, he's unsettling, he's like, he's like, he's like a plague doctor. Weirdo looking freak. I wanted to incorporate elements that sort of looked like plague doctor garb, you know, the, the dress that they wear, but something that would also work on its own and still sort of look like a natural extension of its feathers. And from there, I went back and adjusted the shape of Spritzy's dress. I gave it a little bow under its neck to make it look more like a student, like a spooky doctor in training. And then I just had to render them out. In the end, I'm not sure I made anything necessarily special. Like I said, I know that proper Plague Doctor Spritzy evolution is a pretty common idea because so many people feel like Aromatisse was wasted potential. But I like how mine turned out. I like the, the hair puff of Spritzy evolving into this wide brim hat. And just honestly, overall, I feel like I did a good job of capturing Pokemon's design conventions in this evolution. I think this is one of my more solid designs. Here is their info. Spritzy. The Perfume Pokemon. Kalosian Spritzy are known for their infatuating fragrance, once making them quite popular with nobility. This breed, however, seems to be more of a studious feather, often accompanying doctors and nurses to nurture their healing abilities. Play Pori, the Fragrance Pokemon. Plain Paris, despite their good intentions, often leave a sense of foreboding to those who see it. As 
as healers, they seem to prioritize those in the most desperate of conditions, which unfortunately commonly associates their treatments with death. For the last randomizer, I wanted to do a type swap similarly to how I did them in my TCG type swap video, where I pull two random Pokemon and give one of them the other's type. I was simply too impatient to go buy another pack of cards. <laughs> So I used the general Pokemon randomizer and kept looking at all the pairs that generated until I got one I liked. Would it have made for a more interesting video for all of these randomizers if I just did the first one that showed up and accepted the challenge? Maybe. I don't know. Oh well. Trying not to overthink it. Anyway, I ended up landing on a Shinx and a Mischievous. And that reminded me of the Luxray I drew for the TCG type swap thumbnail. I got some comments of people disappointed that the Luxray wasn't actually in the video. Sorry, kinda, not really sorry. Uh, another aspect of my overthinking is I try to avoid spoiling the results of my videos in the thumbnails too much. So I've just been adding to my workload by designing original shit for those thumbnails. I'm glad people like it though. That design was intended to be a psychic type, but hey, psychics and ghosts are pretty similar. I, maybe I can expand on that design here. The original concept behind that thumbnail design was that the Luxray line are actually based on Lynxes. A uh, Lynx? Lynx? Lin Linux? A lot of people think it's Lions. I used to think it's Lions, but it's Lynxes. I'm going with that one. So Lynx actually have some mythology behind them that play into Luxray. They are said to be the keepers of secrets, believed to have supernatural eyesight, capable of seeing through solid objects, just like Luxray can. And they also symbolize the psychic power of clairvoyance. So that's why for that thumbnail design, I thought a psychic type was so fitting. And all those extra eye-like markings were supposed to represent that seeker of truths can see through you, all-seeing clairvoyance kind of thing. The logic behind everything else for that thumbnail design was just trying to make it look psychic and trying to make it look as different from the original Luxray as possible, you know, to make it, make it a catchy thumbnail. I think all of that stuff translates to ghosts nicely. Psychics and ghosts are pretty closely related. Maybe this is a dual type. But my main thought is that with it being a ghost type, maybe we can add the fun lore that he can walk through walls as easily as he can see through them. I designed the Shinx and Luxray first, since Luxio is a pretty faithful, average, middle stage. It's very transitional. It doesn't really stand out on its own. I knew I could easily design that last. Other than that, I really just tried to make the line look consistent with the final design and in line with other ghost types. Very simple process, but results I'm happy with. Here's they. Shinx, the lingering Pokemon. Not long after the Shinx line went extinct in the area, they seemed to return, or at least part of them did. Once known for their energetic personalities, the returning Shinx are now much more subdued, preferring to sit in silence. Eerily enough, they never seem to blink. Luxio, the observant Pokemon. When the new Shinx evolve into Luxio, they gain a nasty attitude, boring into the souls of their opponents with resentful eyes. Luxio are able to counter attacks before they are made, both through observation and premonition. Luxray, the Knowing Eyes Pokemon. Luxio's final form, Luxray, is much more stoic, perhaps because they're reassured by their seemingly endless knowledge of their surroundings. They can see and pass through any barrier, physical or metaphorical. Though they know so much, they convey very little. And that is gonna wrap us up for this video! I didn't think when I started designing Fakemon for that Eevee video that I was going to pursue it this much, but I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, and I think I'd like to do more stuff involving style recreation in the future. Until then, though, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you so much to my patrons! $2 a month gets you access to everything I post like works in progress and early previews, $10 a month gets your name rather than credits like I'm just about to do, and Introducing the brand new $5 tier, where you can partake in Patreon-exclusive streams. For now, the plan is to do two streams a month, one dedicated to playing games, and one dedicated to working on art for videos. If you're interested, you can check that out. If you're not, you don't have to. The streaming schedule is available on my Patreon and in my Patreon announcements chat in my Discord server that I also have that anyone is welcome to join. Back to the $10 tier. Thank you so much to... 
Hey Thumbs, your resident Disney princess, Rudio, Mia Bear Marlow, Leon Dexter, PTR Draws, Dan Creativity, SL Emmy, Mim Silverno, Fool and Cool, The Crystal Paladin, More Green, Starling Studio, Bread, Enma Baby, DC Art, Rodentron Cat, The Liar Bird, Eddie Star, Popsicle Personified, Cactus Princess, Tazara, OG Dragon, Vendetta, Chalusu, Queen Sonoko, Night King, Sunset Lemonade, Mia, Miss, Ix Chilia, V Rogers Art, Kamiki Miata, Fusion Fire, Philip the OK, Lola, Melonix, Glasses Pro Tag, Strawberry Kitty, The Sleepy Detective, Mark DeLark, OV, CJ Duffy, Sweetly Sinstra, Gravity Drop, Sammy Sammer, Miss Contrary, Bun Bun Boy, L Ubies, Exorcist Lilium, Sleepy, Talia Griffin, Bookbound, Harpo the Marks, Charlie the Kitten, Ambit Bunny, Icy Kitsune, Shrimpy Boy, Cinema Roll, Twisted Mind, River Morty, Wet Sock of Pain, Angie, Lavisa, Susie McNushi, Issaka Inkblood, Mar Please, Summer Stars, Pancake Pearl Jam, Gabriel Clinner, Sailor Starboats, Aria Days, Jesper Barrel, Alabaster, Solux, Fatty Con Queso, Devin J. Allen, Dog Ear, Connor Robinson, Blazing Locust, Sparky Knight, Snail, Sitharic Chaos, Martin Anderson, Jalen, Nikolai Galgaxine, Honey Beast, Bond Envy, Creepy LPS 44, Moon Pie Dumpling, Jamie Cloud, Sockaroo Love, Claire AD, King Jester, Mochi Mercy, Vesosile, Rainey's Corner, Kyle James Taylor, LaRice, Dahlia Dreamcraft, Sirius Star, Red V, Fields of Starlight, Project Imperian 5, Sweet Kitsu, Jacob Goodwin, Hachiyubi, DJ Cat, Meow, Chioro, Dylan MX, Momo Chew, Scriblet, Cuddle Cuddles, Wormel Storf Art, Warren, Aww, Maddie, Berserker 102, Michael, Mama Peaches, Michael, Sasha Rose, Fire Newt 451, Dracos, Scully Sweet, Wormrim, Emiraki, Yakima Soul Queen, Comet Tail, Kurt Cullen, Cody Richard, Resurie Ian, Nico Starcy, Gus Daniels, Andrew Robinson, Peachy Minty, Aswix, The Orc Cafe, Hikari Yu, Johnny Stars, Charles Stark Strange, Russell the Jimmies, Andre, Mew, Kichigo, Nekozawa, Seb, Alien Drag Queen, Shortcake Snake, Makaru, Inagami Black, Dust Monkeys, Nine Mage EXP, Zelfas, Percy, Abi Mochi, Raven Troll, Kitty Freak, Zeolia, Ghostly Goat, Corina Floraline, Jake Vantrue, Madison, Dragon Draws, Gelitis, Phantom Beagle, Zachary Borges, Crimscore, Gremlin, D. Druxy, Abigail Wargo, Nate Art, Young Manor, Shards of Shattered Space, Ang ZT Plush B, Mario Medina, Zephyr Christos, Final Scream, It's Fucking Wendy, I Try to Fight, Cloud Axolotl 107, Gallivanting Galliforms, Inger Lease, Sean M, Salmon Pro 16, Daphne Jolie, Echo, Thunder Evermore, Orion of the Stars, D. Henry, Jordan Ripley, Dusk, Bowie Knife, Luna Yoku, Capri Cocker, Monster Freak, The Legend of Alice, Nyx Flames, Stephalian, Kyger, Luna Lou the Mew, Tally, Boring Studios, Danny Glitter, White Rhino 2222, Johnny Ariano, Hazelnuts, Lainey Montez, Sunny Side Up, Mingyo, Mama, Levi, Carox Arts, The Names, Raymond, Vesalius, Michelle Lee, Bubbleberry, Ped Lee T, Caster, Rayleigh Sheridan, Sketchy Beats, Captain Barony, Jaxelberry, Mew Mew the Bun, Oliver Ruiz, Tabby Laffy Annie, Kiara, C Row 3, Kaiju Kieran, Ashley T, Scuba Duber, River Pancakes, Halapup, Chase, Icarus, Sizor Reaper, Aaron the Confused, Nix Castellan, Pixie Francis, Lucas, Royce Wadsworth, Bonds the Witch, M Trey, Hermix, Beetlesticks, Fawn Draven, Retro Fawn, Oculus Portfolio, Via V, Velvy B, Natalia the Written 73, Midge Mayhem, Creaking It, The Loud Artist, Christina Respeto, It's a Me, Mari, Data Fox, Dojo Kid, Miss Manic Panic, Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Ace, Jackie Jellybee, Rain J, Chris Daru, and Nebura. Have a nice day. Beep beep.